five, what additional information do we need to answer the following questions? How is the equilibrium of solid silver bromide with a saturated solution of its ions affected when the temperature is raised? Okay, so this one's kind of an interesting question. Let's just read it one more time. We just want to say, or we want to know, how is the equilibrium of solid silver bromide with the saturated solution of its ions affected when the temperature is raised? Okay, so basically they told us that we're we have a saturated solution of an ions, right? Of the ions of solid silver bromide. So let's just write out what that would be. Remember, this is going way back to Gen Chem when we had to learn how to make compounds. Silver, remember, is Ag. And Ag always exists as a plus one charge. Bromine, remember, that's group 17. So that's always Br minus. It's a one-to-one, -one, so the compound would just be AgBr. Now, when they're telling us, oh, actually, they did tell us that we had a solid silver bromide. So we have this as a solid, and this is going to basically be in equilibrium, right, with saturated solution of its ions. And we just said before that we had Ag as a plus one and the bromine, which is a minus one, right? And any time that you have charges, those are always going to be aqueous. Okay. Now, when we're talking about a saturated solution, this will have a KSP value of something, right? And KSP, for saturated solutions, this is always the textbook uh, KSP value. So if you're saturated, the KSP value for AGBR is always the textbook number. So we could go in the back of the appendix to actually find out the number. So I'll just put that this is would be in the appendix because they did say that this is saturated. But now what's going on is the temperature is being raised. So that's after this fact, right? The temperature is increasing. How are we going to know what that new equilibrium is all about? We would need to know what? Well, if we had a KSP before, right, that's the appendix value. That's like a standard value. If we increase that temperature, we would have to know what the KSP is afterwards. Only then can you compare equilibriums. So you could say, we would need to know the solubility product, which is SP, solubility product. Um, you could just say you need to know the KSP after the temperature. Is this how we spell after? That kind of looks like it. There we go. The KSP after the temp increase needs to be known because only then will we know how much will that equilibrium be affected. So you need to know two KSP values, the one before and the one answer after. The one before we should know because that's a textbook value. They did say saturated. But the one after, they didn't tell us what the KSP is, and that's the only way that we would figure out how to find out the equilibrium. With that, that's the end for this one. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching, and let's keep, let's keep learning, all right? Chem is fun. What do you think? <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye-bye.